the mid lane. Caps does have Ignite here. Jojo already burnt the TP. Vulcan here in time to save his mid laner. Sun card comes out. Abyssal Voyage. Caps flashes forward with the Ignite. Ticking Caps takes it. The tower will not shoot. The tongue will not lash. But here it is inspired just in time. Caps still trying to dodge away. Oh, no. He gets to the other side. Vulcan flash. Tongue lash. Give him a licking in the bushes. Inspired continues to chase. Caps trying to get away. Has the Razor Beaks to dash to and should be able to escape a tongue lash. Abyssal Voyage going forward. Caps double dash and manages to survive. I'm going to be honest. I don't think Caps saw that path before going for the kill. But G2 already knew they were so much better than EG here that there was no way Vulcan would hit his tongues. Easiest diff of his life. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fizz Khalifa. Today we're taking a look at some of our favorite clips from EU's mid lane menace, G2's freewheeling deity, Caps. As one of the winningest players of the LEC, there's no shortage of amazing clips he's given us on the stage. Let's head to the very next match these two teams played at MSI, and the last nail in the coffin for the EGV G2 discussion. Do I gotta watch this? It's so clean, just the stopwatch here, right on the last little hit that was about to come in. Like, he's, he's paused at like 40 health, you know, like, waiting for that cooldown, gets the reset, kills GP, and you saw Lilia and Leona just be like, eh, hey, you're good from here. And so, just caps popping off. And Able. then knows, like, can't yeah. win here, so he's like, all right, I gotta run. I have vision that Hillsing is in the oh, area for a dive man. And Fnatic, they want to go mid, not bot. All right, no flash available. Caps is going to need to find some sort of stun or ultimate. He actually just gets chunked out. Oh, oh, Take a look at that. The hex oh. is just And Caps! Four Yankos to get a gank off because that Gnar can be slippery and a bot lane with a black shield, it's impossible to play against. It absolutely is. Yankos and Inspired are nearby. This is going to turn into a 2v2 as Caps uh -oh. is just running down Larson. Oh. First blood picked up solo. And now Inspired will be the next target. He's trying to, trying to run away. No flash available. And the spear is sidestepped. I mean, literally, same place, same time. It's gone. He needs one more to get Broken Blade as both top laners go down. Now Caps has nowhere to be, nowhere to go. The Orb of Deception is good. The charm is great, but Caps is very tanky. Caps on this Nautilus is doing so much Where's damage. Caps, big back to stop watching it. Tinos, and he gets saved as Croc comes to the rescue. Only for Yike to clean him up. Two esports with Baron empowered. They haven't backed away yet. Spinning axes will connect, and the teleport now being channeled by Khan. Unstoppable onslaught's not available, but it might not be needed. That's an interrupt. Devastating charge delivers perks into the back line. There goes Faker, chasing down the perks. Perks stays alive for now. Khan find the next axe. All of a sudden, though, it's a one for one. Support for AD. Yankos, as well as Caps, get themselves a reply back. Now Caps turns his attention to Khan. Faker's running low. He needs to get some regen. Whoa! He is popped by Caps. Caps is throwing out every single ability and turning his attention to Khan. It's a quadra kill for Caps and G2. G2 look to equalize the series. 12,000 gold advantage is a dark binding from Mickey. Should just about seal the deal. Caps goes all the way to the steps of the fountain for a pentakill. Head first into G2's dominance in 2019 league and the godlike status of Caps. This team would go on to beat T1 in game five and win MSI, cementing their superiority in semis of worlds months later. Caps was one of the best players at both events. Now here's G2 beating another Korean dynasty at Worlds a year later in the quarterfinals. Almost down before you can even get out of the fight. Ignite taking on Caps, uses the stopwatch to dodge the spear. He's gonna come back up and with the ammo, oh my god! Oh, that is disgusting! That is the most illegal ammo I have ever seen. Clint dives in, Rascal dives in, but they're already done and Caps is still alive and he's almost back up to full HP. Ruler, the last man standing and what a fated end it is for Genji as he goes down. Another triple for Caps. Outplays impacts for down there while the other members of G2 collapse on EG flankers. But Jojo Pyun does get the advantage of just slapping some turrets down. Should be able to get a hit one more order needed. It does get it. Wants to fight Caps as well. Finds the slow. Pumps the gun. Gale Force is in. He's going for it. Caps doesn't have his ulti yet, but it's up very, very soon. Has he bought enough time? I see has a dying red counterplay there. Finds the other front. And Caps gets the outplay. Sintra's all back up. They might try for the attempt right here if you can find the QE. Nice juke by Cap, but will be hit a little bit. Nice double sun comes in. Ult comes in as well. He's got a lot of a playground to play around with. They find that first stun. They find some damage, but Ignite means he will get the solo kill in the 1v2. And Caps tries it for Jensen. And here comes Mickey. Broken Blade, Flacken wants to follow up. What have they got? Oh, they get a hit VTO. Now being pulled back at the last possible second to avoid the hostile takeover. Caps off to the side. Now focusing Caps. on the ultimate coming out from the trundle. Stolen away by Caps, keeping him alive, keeping him healthy. Now, Caps. stepping forward, Caps oh on a rampage. Caps versus the world. A double kill for the man in the mid lane for G2. Caps tears. The G2 camp so much, so often. You heard it a lot in Broken Blade's uh, interviews on K1. <laughs>
And they've been disciplined, and now Caps, <laughs> here he goes. Where is he going? That's the sickest movement we've ever seen on a little melee creep. There he goes. I mean, I don't know about AI they have for these creeps. Oh, oh my god, god. no! Going in. No oh. way! Nisky, Nisky, Nisky. Of course you can't step outside of your turret for even a second. Caps is having a silly time. Oh, don't worry, guys. G2 still lost this game. And only this game. For the entire group stage. To once again speak to opposite ends, here's 2019's 13.5 G2 take on its 5.13 XL. Disrespectful. That's a matter of perspective for you to decide. But we need to see whether or not it will be enough to come back against XL Esports, who are ganging up on Caps. The most recent import. Caps will be taken down in just a matter of time. Starts to get chased. The flash comes out. Caps running for his life. He dashes over the wall. Caps, I'm so sorry for doubting you. Back side of the fight. But TL turning it back. Impact. Big use of the abilities there. Trying to find a way to get a kill. But it's just a trade. It's a one for one. Caps wants to get it back, though. Goes golden. Buys a bit of time. Now on the retreat. Yanko stepping forward. G2 looking to route him. Double have taken down an extended trade. But in the end, G2 coming out on top. And Caps is not done yet. Stealing the Galio ultimate. Pulling it away. Can't oh no retreat. Bad team. <laughs> It's the heroes that kill mid. Well, they can. That's going to be a pop blossom device. Sometime Caps stays alive a few seconds longer. He manages to find the route onto Mowgli. Goes golden. Thanks to the stopwatch. Mowgli escapes by the skin of his teeth. Jazuki needs to pick the right target. And he does. But he's not going to find it. The route just flashed away from Jazuki. He doesn't even have mana. He can't escape. And the MVP is a G2. Caps and Wonder must do the work. There's no ultimate for Wonder, so this is going to be hard. I'm gonna try the dunk going forward towards how to be really good damage towards the rise thing alive finds root flashing back to the pit. All they do is make oh, the smite. Oh, oh, oh no! The smite is early! A kill comes through as well! Make it a second! The solo laners do absolutely everything! Well, BDS is a Dante takes out Broken Blade. Nuclear is the next target. Caught Caps. up by the charm. The deceiving is going backwards and Target must tagged out. Glacial Park Caps in retreat. Four. Spirit Rush 1, Spirit Rush 2, flashed away from. One more rush available to him, but Caps is caught out. Oh, target is hunting. He finds the kill with the ebb and flow. Oh, Caps. The prison side step before Caps comes one back in. Gets another charge in the Spirit Rush. And Dante locks down Caps. Aggressive oh, the 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 dash. The fight has gone long enough for him to respawn. Caps continues to run for his life. Flash still available to him. Aggressivo has not got a lot to chase, and Targamas throws out that ebb and flow. Step forward! Oh, oh my god! He's still alive! Call Caps the Avatar! He's playing with fire right now! How was he able to get back inside? That was disgusting! Shout out to Caps in this game, as while G2 got handed their first loss of the season, Caps still got the second most gold in the game. But guys, don't worry. He also got MVP plenty of times, including here against Misfits. He has to turn. There's no way out here. Just do as much damage as possible. Ult, Gore Drinker, Q, everything he's got. BTO gets engaged on by Broken Blade. Just gets out with a sliver of HP, but it's Caps takes the trundle, there loses it, is. it on the trundle, lives for so long, gets his whole combo off, lives again with the W, pops the stopwatch, then comes out of it. Watch this Q from Caps, predicts Neon's dash here, hits him with the Q2, manages to get the finishing blow, then cleans up onto Irrelevance. Targamas's ult comes off cooldown, shoots it onto Zanzara, which nets Caps a triple kill. Well, is up to and play accordingly. Now, Aljoya actually making his way towards mid, Caps very low. Uh, looking for the first gank here. Poison ticking on Niski. He's down to about 150 HP. Now, Yike can top a, toss a sapling in here to keep Caps safe. Does exactly that. Elioya spotted walking forward. Caps retreats down towards the bottom side where there's another sapling waiting. And Niski will face tank it. Caps turns around. Twin Fangs for the kill. The sapling did everything there. For what else can he get done? I mean, kite the croc. Flash forward is going to be able to lock him down, but does not stun the right target. Wants to go through the wall, but the portal, so tiny, doesn't make any sense to follow through on. And Caps now has to get out. Yankos has to get out. Where's he going to go? Waiting on the phase dive. Going to dash away to safety. Juan Fon coming through. Angel messes up the combo. In the meta right now, you can see how dominant he is being in the isolated 1v1. Wow. Look at all yeah, Caps. Forward, trying to force it. The ulti now coming out. Caps with a clean size. They're pulling him back under tower. Larson now trying to escape. Caps has to be careful about falling forward because Maorang is now on the way and he doesn't even need to finish the skill climb. He's trying to get one. That's for blood for G2. Impressive double back by Caps for the first blood. While this was the only kill he'd end up getting this game, it was certainly an entertaining one. Perfect stall to time in Yankos and Maorang. Here, though, it's Caps doing the stalling. Could be in trouble. Yeah, a bit miserable here. Caps could ult flash. Oh, flash waits for him to breathe. Fire walks away. Slithers a... Maybe hoping to just get some small cooldowns, but they just don't really have threat on the comp quite yet. But here comes Broken Blade. Over the wall with the Umbral Dash, but he whips just a little bit. Now going in for a bit more. Trippy forces the Devour early on. Comp backing up. G2 pressing forward is the death ball, but here comes Balring on the flight. But no, G2 oh, starts Caps. fighting the favor. Caps, it might just be everything. Can he find the reset? Can he find the frozen throws? Can he even find Larson? That's one.
coming out. Nuclear's going to teleport into the middle of this, and there might be a fight even if they finish the bound. Caps jumping forward onto Upset, almost takes him out. Perks goes in, and Upset is down. Called out by Caps, who dived in from the side, and that's a double for Caps. He's looking for three, he's looking for more, he's looking for four as Nuke Duck gets exhausted and will fall. There's the triple. Destiny next on the menu for the quadra kill for Caps. Secures it with he's the auto the attack. He's going, he's going for the Penta. Will G2 steal it away from him because Alfari is trading, but the chains locks Alfari in place. Caps with a Penta kill. People like Yike, even for someone like Han Samus, we can throw down the trains of corruption. He's put a bit of a wrench into the works for Mad Line, so I think going back to the drawing board here for game two, they're going to have to try and figure something Caps. out. But Caps? A bit of he has arrow with eight seconds. Flash, body slam, Caps flashes away. No perfect buffer on the explosive cast. Petro and Gaze hits two. Nature's Grass coming in from the side as well as Yike. Yike looks to join the fray. Kazi trying to trade on to make it. He flashes away. Hillasang almost trades with Caps, but can't quite do it. Caps survives with 40 HP. Practically dead even, but G2 stave off the soul for now. Caps, you are a man possessed. I think he basically destroyed this fight because G2 are fighting up towards the top side against Wunder and Trippy, but let's look at what he does. He's over. Solo kills Noah. He doesn't have the killer instinct up just yet. Gets the kill. He's back. Now watch this. Razor goes on top of him. He has lethal tempo. Fights against him. And now you'll see the rest of Fnatic turn towards the pit as they try and get BB down. They realize Caps is a target, but Caps, look how he uses his spells. He's gonna flash over the wall, or dash rather, and then E back over. Get some damage down. All talk to Wonder. Try and get that kill. Dash back away again. It's just a clinic. Hans tries to clean up. Razork misses the Q flash. He dashes over the wall, preemptively expecting him to possibly hit. And then he cleans up Razork. Wonder saw a window where he could get to come in for G2. Rogue with control. Package now picked up. Oduwame trying to go in, look for the damage onto Broken Blade. He uses the Bellows Breath, but the stopwatch is popped as well. Caps in a good position to flank here, but he's spotted on the control ward. How quickly do Rogue react? Broken Blade down. down, already dead. The hostile takeover coming out as well. It's one for one trade. It's so far, Marang's gonna fall as well. Flack is doing so much work here, but Comp, can he open up? Can he find the big guns? Oh. Can he find the shots? The Rogue Caps instead turns it around. Still has the package in his back pocket. And Rogue looking hungrily at the dragon. Can they secure it? Can they steal the soul away from G2? They don't have a jump oh, no. Larson slides in, but Caps dives back! A double for Caps! A soul! Perfect package drop to finish us off. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next, and subscribe to never miss another upload. See you next time!